Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a battery test with SMC. Now we've done a few SMC battery tests lately. This one is gonna be on their model series that is more along the lines of a value pack, meaning that its price is going to be very competitive. If you guys stay to the very end of this video, you'll be able to see how I obtain all the battery packs that I've shot and tested over the course of the last couple years. And you'll also be able to see how much money each one of these videos make. In addition, there's many ways to help support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe will go a long way. Let's get into it. We're now on the SMC website taking a look at this pack and ultimately we're going to find out what this means by HCL-EC and the rest of the details on this battery. So HCL-EC, that's what we're testing today. This does stand for high cycle life and the EC refers to economy where earlier in the video I called it a value pack. It is a 4S pack measuring in at 5200 milliamp hour. It's 100C and it is a hard case. That's good to know. The price point of this particular battery is $39.95 USD and I do want to add that you have a lot of available options. If you go with the first couple connectors which is Traxxas and the T-Style Dean's connector, that is for free those two options. However, this pack that I have in front of me does come with the SC5 which is compatible with the EC5 and IC5 connector. Therefore, on the battery chart on the page site, I have added $1.50 to the price point, bringing it up to $41.45 for this pack. This is definitely one of the value packs that you can get, especially from a top brand as SMC. So now let's take a look at what we got in terms of the resistance value, and then we can compute the real internal resistance. We simply do this by charging at a rate of 1.5C. I'll skip forward, and then we can see the resistance values that my charger provides. This all happens at the one minute mark on this particular charger. We take these values, we average them out, and this works itself out to three and a quarter milliohms per cell on average for our SMC value pack, or in this case, the economy pack as SMC titles it. Here's the Patreon calculator. This one is version 25.12, which is going to release to tier one and tier two members of the Patreon site in the month of December, in that very first week of December. Now let's take a look at how we can update this to get the internal resistance values. Our capacity for this particular pack is going to be 5200 milliamp hour, and we have the, for the month of December, notes on internal resistances. You can see some of the packs. We've got the HRB, we got the current HCL, EC pack measuring at 3.25 and the Z in there as well. I'm gonna put the 3.25 here. This is the average cell internal resistance. Now the packs calculated real C rating based off of internal resistance alone works itself out to 19.2 C. This has a maximum continuous current of 100 amps, which tells us when we jump into our next step, which is going through the load test, we should expect to see that this pack comes very close to that maximum temperature right near the end of the capacity or discharge curve. Here's the discharge curve of the EC pack from SMC. We can see that we have a significant drop off right away when this hits that 100 and something amp load. And then the voltage begins to sag quite significantly until it reaches somewhere around that 3.5 mark at about the 20 something seconds. And then once you see it there, it begins to stabilize for the next minute or so, not even. And then it drops below that that 3.5 volt per cell mark. And you can see the current does the same thing. It drops in the beginning and it somewhat stabilizes out until it starts to slowly get a little bit lower and stop right below that 100 amp mark, somewhere around that 95 amp mark. What's important here is we got the full 165 seconds of discharge time out of this pack until it reached that voltage cutoff threshold of 3.30 volts per cell. And this pack was in in fact, at that 60 degrees Celsius mark. And in fact, when it stopped and the test was over 10 seconds later, it actually shot up to a higher temperature greater than 60 degrees. Let's take a look at some of those performance values and compare them now up against our HRB power. This is the 5,000 milliamp hour pack. And I threw also the Z in there as well because that is also considered a value pack and is very popular and well known to many. The SMC here, we can see it's comparable in the charts 
charts, and then I break this chart into the graphs that we see, and we could talk about it as we go through. The total milliamp hour during this 105 amp load test was 4466 milliamp hour out of that SMC, and the HRB delivered 4134. This results in an 8% bump when you get that SMC pack. And when we take a look at the energy per cell, this is where you see the SMC delivering 916 watt minutes, where the HRB was delivering 845 watt minutes, which works out to an 8.4% better result on the SMC pack. Now, when we take a look at the average cell wattage, this is quite interesting and we'll get into why here very shortly. The average cell wattage was lower by 4.3% for the SMC. SMC came in at 331 watts on average for the entire duration of the pack that we discharge and the HRB delivers 346 watts for the entire duration of the pack. Now the voltage at the 10 second mark happened to be 3.54 volts on the SMC as opposed to the HRB coming in at 3.50. Now this is what I do find interesting here for the SMC. The SMC in terms of milliamp hour delivered up to that 3.50 volt mark was much more significant than the HRB delivering 500 and 36 milliamp hour to that mark and 334 milliamp hour to the 3.5 on the HRB. The time there was 19.3 seconds versus 11 seconds on the HRB and the milliamp hour to 3.6 volts was 114 on the SMC versus 46 on the HRB. The time there, 4.2 seconds and 1.7 seconds. There you have it. Now let's see what this pack can do when we put it into a 100 mile per hour limitless build and keep in mind that the SMC drag race speed run pack was able to hit 160 kilometers an hour and you'll be able to see what this pack does right here. All right, we're gonna get that car out there so that we can make this pass with the SMC economy pack. We're gonna get it out there to a similar distance that we've gotten all of the cars out there with their specific batteries installed. This is gonna give us a good distance to make the run. Once we have it out there, we turn around, we set the car straight, and then we check to make sure there's nothing in our way. We got room and let's go. This is the SMC. Gotta love those top speed runs. Now we slam on the brakes, we get this thing turned around, and once it's turned around, we come back, and then we want to check the speed there. Now let's bring it back. Sounds like we got a car coming too. Now I do hear that there's a car coming, and of course, looks like I'm right. Keep off to one side. This is just part of the gig here, trying to get the data for you guys. Yeah, I've got to deal with all the stuff out here. People and cars and you name it. Okay, and temperature and wind. And Let's get a reading on this SMC. This is the high cycle life, high performance. We're it's gonna not the high performance, it is the ECN. It did confirm this. 136 kilometers. And there you have it, 136 kilometers an hour in this particular build for this particular pack. Now stay tuned for the video that will come very soon that's gonna show all of the packs that I've tested now. There's a total of six, and we're gonna see all the results as a summary in one video. And to provide a quick conclusion here about the SMC pack, if you had to choose between SMC and HRB, a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to look at for the SMC is if you're interested in capacity delivered, you're gonna get under a significant load 4,466 milliamp hours out of that SMC on a really decent discharge rate. That's 95 plus amps there at the very end of it. At the very beginning, you're over 105 amps of a discharge rate there versus the HRB at 4,100 milliamp hour. And also when the pack is fresh, you're delivering more capacity and time with less voltage drop at the very beginning of the pack. However, if you want overall average wattage to be high, this is where the HRB looks like it shines by providing about 15 watts more on average per cell for this pack. Now what I want to do is jump into the topic that I talked about earlier in the video and that really is how do I obtain all these batteries? Well SMC is the only battery manufacturer so far other than I think one foreign brand that I tested that was only a single pack that have actually sent me batteries. And I also had a conversation 
conversation with SMC about this very thing. If, if a company is sending me a pack, how do I verify that this battery is not being hand selected? The one easy way to do that is to follow through the same process that one would use, go through the channels and purchase right off the store and let them go through their own process in order to make that happen. So that's one way that you can get around it. Now for all the rest of the batteries out there for me to obtain, I have purchased these myself and thanks to the Patreon subscribers, this is what makes it a lot easier. Here's the amount of money as you can see that a video that I produce on batteries, this one here obtained around 1500 views and makes about $7. The videos themselves, as you can see, don't really contribute too much when it comes to the purchase of these batteries. However, with the Patreon support that I receive, this makes it much easier. Any money that I'm short, I'm also putting in out of pocket as well. This channel is not about making money, that's for sure. I easily spend more in a year than this channel creates and makes, but it's not about a profitable business. This is more about giving back to the community and shedding awareness on the products and things that we are using and getting information out there to make everyone's lives easier, especially to enjoy such a satisfying hobby. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Glad you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.